Hello everyone and today I thought I would do my everyday foundation routine and I thought I would do it using the Pure 12 one, two, three, perfect. So um, I've used this before and I really really like it um, and I've been using it the last few days and I've kind of forgot how much I did like it. It's very natural looking so I'm going to use my beauty blender um, and yeah I've done my eyes already, I've just done like the most simple eye known to man. So yeah, I'm going to get started with this. This is on offer at the moment in Boots. Bjorchwa is two for 14 on all of their products. So if you're um, interested, then get to it. I do have like, a, um, Moisturizer and all that kind of stuff on it, so don't worry about that. Beauty Blender is good to go. just how it is. I'm not doing anything special today. I'm not going anywhere special. So if I, if I'm just kind of going in and out of town, doing errands. I'll just do one kind of layer, which is about a pump, which is quite good. Sometimes I might use a pump and a half. I do have redness issues kind of on the jawline, on both sides. I do have a red nose and I think that it does cover it quite well. It still has it quite natural looking. Um, this isn't a great everyday kind of foundation. It's not too heavy. So, um, as you can probably see, I didn't go into great detail around my eyebrow area because I just done my eyes just for the sake of the video. Um, so, obviously, I would put my foundation on, or I would do my eyebrows after my foundation, typically. But yeah, that was that. Then I'm gonna take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. When I first got this, I was really unsure as to if she had matched me to the right shade. She kind of couldn't wait to get me out of the way. So that is even too much. You need the smallest amount of this stuff. I'm kind of just pop it underneath my eye. Kind of on the high. That was way too low. I put a little bit in between here and here. And I don't always use my fingers, it just takes so long. So if I'm in a rush, I'll just use my small stipple brush by e.l.f. These are new and I got it um, I got it last week in Cardiff. But today I'll use the other side of my. underneath my eyes to make sure. Now I put it down too low but usually it is up right under here. I don't like to put concealer like directly way underneath my eyes because I just kind of find like here will be the cutoff point for me but um, I think that looks Sometimes my under eyes can look quite dark and it's something that I'm working on. I'm trying to like find my products to use to counteract the darkness under my eyes. So that's just that. Now I tend to powder with my coverall pressed powder by Wet and Wild. So I'm just gonna take that on an Eco Tools large powder brush. This powder brush is quite good. Typically, if I was going to work or something, I would set my under eyes first but because I'm just running around today and not having my makeup on for too long I am um, just brushing everywhere in I guess <laughs> and then for bronzer I'm not using any I'm gonna use my Ella Masca blush in Lover which is this one you've seen me use it before 
on angled contour brush by Sigma. I need to wash a few brushes tonight. I'm going to put lipstick, which is Wet n Wild's Bear It All. So there you have it, my foundation routine. It's very, very, very simple. It is not too much at all. Um, I never like the apples. You know, if you'd like a makeup collection um, video or separate videos for different parts of my collection because I've just tidied up everything so it's good and to go and neat and all that kind of stuff so I'll see you later and have a great day I forgot to mention the lasting power of this foundation will be about eight hours it doesn't need topping up with powder and, and like that kind of stuff until maybe five hours so I can get a good chunk of the day done with this so yeah I'll see you later bye